Now, I get asked a lot, you know, what's it like to trust people at a level to fly three feet away from them? And I think it's a valid question. Um, I didn't fly with any of these gentlemen before I joined the Thunderbirds. So I was like, you know, like, we just met. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Let's fly three feet away from each other, 500 feet off the ground at 400 miles an hour upside down. Right? Are you ready? Right? Now, it shouldn't surprise you in a place like when we have processes and procedures that have to be followed. They're set in stone for a reason because they're probably from lessons learned in the past or we've hired some really amazing company to come in and analyze this and tell us that's the most efficient way to do it. But we have a syllabus, okay? And you can follow all of that. But when people ask me, what does it take to trust people to this level, the answer is simple. You build trust by being trustworthy. You build trust by being trustworthy. We often wait in relationships and in business and in intense environments where there's high risk and high execution and high dollar amounts that, that trust and building that starts with somebody else's actions. That's not true. Trust starts with you. You build trust on teams by being completely dependable and trustworthy in the role that you have been called to do. You are so dependable and so trustworthy under any circumstance that if anyone in this room has a question about your portion of the portfolio, it is muscle reflex, instantaneous, that they pick up the phone and call you because they know you are the subject matter expert. You have done everything in your power to always be accountable to the standard and always be accountable to the role that you have been called to do right here, especially as leaders, okay? I was given a three-foot bubble to move around in. I could move up and down three feet, left and right three feet, or forward and aft three feet. That was my lane. And as long as I stayed in that bubble and everybody else agreed to stay in that bubble, we were going to stay out of each other's way, if you know what I'm saying. And I remember when I first started flying, I spent two years looking left, just like this. And I used to look across the number one pilot over to the guy flying the left wing during training season, and he'd be moving all over the place. And here I am, hurtling through space, thinking, why is he over there moving all over the place? What is he doing? Wow, what a stupid thing to do, right? Don't fly in other people's positions. Stay out of other people's cockpits, right? You do need to know, to break down the silos, what they do. You do need to know the role that they play in that overarching formation and in that mission. But let them fly their role. OK? Let them fly their role. So building trust by being completely dependable in all circumstances. I wasn't called to be the leader. I wasn't called to be left wing. I was called to be completely dependable at all circumstances in the number three position.